Good Monday morning to YouTube. You know it's not really Monday morning. You know, you're seeing this on Monday morning. There's no way. Do you, do you know what, on Monday morning, I, I, I'm, I'm a relatively happy person, but I can promise you, I am not in the mood to be doing none of this stuff. So, uh, illusion destroyed, I know. I'm pretty bad for that. I talk to the fourth wall all the time. What are you talking about? So, uh, today, I do want to come with a little Monday morning motivation. Uh, simply because I think there are things in life that you almost need cheerleaders for. And I know that sounds a little weird coming from a grown man, but you know, life is hard. And if we have lived any time on this world, we know that it is full of difficulty and full of aggravation and full of problems. On top of all that, we have this crap ton of freaking responsibility that we seem that we always have to be responsible for, hopefully are responsible for. But after a while, that weight of responsibility, combine that with the general drudgery of what a lot of people view their nine to five as, and no matter what level they're in, because believe me, when you've done the same thing over and over, it becomes repetitive no matter what it is. When you find this kind of like disillusionment with the experience of life, it's one of the reasons why I do these videos is to really kind of encourage you to look beyond that day to day and to not just be focused on what it takes to get yourself through the day or to more accurately to get yourself to your next paycheck, but to focus on those things in life that are actually more important, the things that actually do matter. When we see the bills that we're paying, instead of looking at them as a, oh my God, you know, I've got a $500 car payment. Well, who goes in that car? You know, how much is your house payment? Well, well, who lives in that house? The electric, the, the water, who, who is using those toilets? It's your butt and your kids' butts and your, you know, whoever else is with you. Uh, sometimes we, I think it is missing the forest for the trees maybe, or looking at the problem instead of seeing the solution. One thing that I highly, highly, highly recommend to everyone, is to get yourself from underneath of any financial burden that you don't absolutely have to be under. There's a lot of things that we want, but we don't need. And if we can simplify our life, we're going to find in the process of simplifying our life that we're also going to increase our bank account because if you're making the same money and spending less, you know, a penny saved is a penny earned, you're going to see a benefit very quickly when we stop doing things that really maybe impede what we want. If our goal is to take a vacation, if our goal is to get a new vehicle, if our goal is to do anything that involves money, but we are spending money on a daily basis that could be saved, food fixed at home rather than got through the drive through window, uh, buying it by the box instead of the bottle. If you drink, you know what I'm talking about. There are ways that we can save money and still not necessarily like, you know, live a, an impoverished lifestyle. But if we will take these steps to, you know, maybe do more work. And, you know, if you want to make more money, you're going to have to do more work. Why not, instead of going through the drive through window, why not go home and make that food? Well, you would save yourself all that extra money. The, the difference between what it costs for you to fix it and for what it costs for them to fix it, not to mention the fact that their food is nutritionally deficient according to their own documentation. Look it up, look at what you fix at home. You'll, you'll feel better, your wallet will be thicker, your life will be better. And trust me, if you go back to fixing home cooked meals, if you start go back to establishing that kind of family unit, the stability of your household will be better because you're going, you're literally making time for everyone to interact with each other. It's the the things that motivate us through our week. Here it is on Monday, we're getting our week started out. Go home tonight, you know, do whatever you gotta do, get everybody fed or, or whatever it takes to get you through your day. Do those things, but be thinking through the course of this week. Be planning, be planning ahead. Spend some time, don't jump into anything willy-nilly. Take a couple of days, think about what it would take for you 
to stop doing some of these things that you know that you're just pulling money out of your pocket, which means you have to work more hours, which means you spend less time around your family. So it's a vicious, vicious cycle. The more stuff we have, the less time we get to spend with said stuff because you have to be at work making money to pay for those things. And those are the things that matter anyway. We get stuff for the people we love and care about, but then we spend so much time working where you don't spend time with people we love and care about because we are, we're on the rabbit wheel. So let's get the, the hamster wheel. Do rabbits have wheels? I don't think they have wheels. I think Bugs Bunny probably did, but he doesn't really count, I'm pretty sure. I'm 85% I'm sure he was not actually a real rabbit. So I don't know, don't, don't, don't stone me for that one, okay, okay? Just believe whatever you want, anyway. So today, I want to encourage you Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep your focus not on the problem, but on the solution. And remember, what we're doing this for is not for the place that we work for. We're doing it for the people we love and care about. And sometimes that involves doing things that we really don't like, like getting up at the freaking butt crack of dawn and shuffling off to work like most people do. It sucks, I know, I hate it. Until you can come up with a solution, write a book, let us know, I hope you promote it for free. Uh, Cause I'm gonna wanna read it for free. Cause I'm a tight one, yeah. All right, thanks for stopping in guys, love you. And I will see you next Monday, bye.